What happened to my camera? Here's another big corporation doing something to completely baffle and annoy their customers simply because they can. Hopefully, you haven't already been doing what I actually did. Searching all over YouTube and sites that advise you to do the whole nonsense of going to device manager and updating drivers and so on. Surprise, surprise, none of that works. It's got nothing to do with any of that. If you've got an HP Envy and tried to take a picture or video with your built-in free HP camera and you saw this, here's the solution. Up at the top center of your screen, just under the silver lining of your laptop and above the view camera lens, if you gently rub your finger across, you'll feel a lever with about five or so ridges. That lever is the slider. You should also feel a space next to either side of that slider. That space allows you to move that slider left or right therefore allowing you to change the appearance of your camera. So push it to the left for off, right for on. That's it. I get it. It's there for privacy purposes. But why make it a complete mystery to your customers? I love how these corporations are so concerned about preserving our privacy and do more to keep us out rather than making it easier for us to get in touch with a real human being who can actually um, help us. I continued to purchase within the line of HP laptops and moved on to the 17-inch screen Envy. It turns out that my original HP laptop also had this switch above the lens. But guess what? I never realized that because I never had to use it. The camera was always on the on switch. What pisses me off the most is if you go to their own help tips, which you always know is never really going to be helpful anyway, they start to send you on a goose chase talking about buttons and switches. Buttons on the top row of the keyboard, which mine does not have, and switches on the side of the laptop, which again, mine has no such switch. Finally, it does show at the very end the Envy's camera shutter on off switch. But because of the color contrast, the diagram looks nothing like reality. And why even waste our time by putting information that has nothing to do with our laptop? When you're sitting at your desk in normal lighting, you don't even see that slider. Who designs this? And who wrote the help instructions? Am I right? What do you think? Did this video help? If you agree with me, let me know in the comments and check out this next video. Thanks.